the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevet. Do the talking. From the Sony Pictures Studio. Party. Now entering the studio are today's contestants. A naval engineer from Arlington, Virginia, Christian Stallsmith. A high school teacher from Rockford, Illinois, Lori Drummond. And our returning champion, a systems engineer from Tenton Falls, New Jersey, Paul Roeder, whose one-day cash winnings total $14,550. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Pat Sajak. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Jeopardy. Glad you could be here on our April 1st edition. I know Paul is glad to be here because he had a great day on our last show, winning over $14,000. But Laurie and Christian will uh, try to knock you off your pedestal, <laughs> tackle you behind the line of scrimmage, hurt you, pummel you. Perhaps I'm overstating the case. In any event, let's get to our uh, Jeopardy dollar amounts. And there is a daily double hidden there among these categories. Buy a vowel, uh-huh. Lose a turd. <laughs> Book an author. Husband and wife. Before and after. And say Jack. Jack being in quotes, and Jack will turn up in the responses. And I want to warn you about before and after. We stole that from another show. And uh, you'll, you'll understand it as, as we play it. Don't worry about a thing. Paul, our returning champion, you will select first, please. Good luck, everyone. Could I have book an author for 100, Pat? Upton Sinclair wrote The Jungle, and he wrote The Jungle Book. Paul. Who is Rudyard Kipling. Correct. Book an author for 200, please. Much of Fools Die, a novel by this godfather author, centers on gambling in Las Vegas. Lori. Who is Puzo? Mario Puzo, correct. Choose again. Book an author for 300. Arthur C. Clarke wrote this 1968 sci-fi novel in collaboration with director Stanley Kubrick. Paul. What is 2001 A Space Odyssey? That's correct. Book an author for 400, please. She dazzled readers with Dazzle and I'll Take Manhattan. Lori. Who's Krantz? Judith Krantz, select again. Book an author for 500. Completing that category, Lieutenant Joe Leaphorn and Navajo policeman Jim Chi return in this author's 1996 mystery, The Fallen Man. Who is Tony Hillerman? Tony Hillerman. Okay, uh, Laurie, you're our last correct questioner. Select again. Right. Let's try husband and wife for 100. Bruce Willis can toast her with a demi toss when they celebrate their 10th anniversary, November 21st, 1997. Paul. Who is Demi Moore? Right, middle name, Toss. Go ahead. Husband and wife for 200, please. Queen Victoria exulted over her honeymoon night with him. I never, never spent such an evening. Paul. Oh. Who is Prince Albert? She probably didn't say it quite that way, but that's uh, correct. Yes. Husband and wife for 300, please. Her cousin, Maria Shriver, was her matron of honor when she married Edwin Schlossberg in 1986. Lori. Who is Carolyn Kennedy? Correct. I'll take husband and wife for 400. And you have taken the Daily Double. All right, Lauren, we're just getting started here, really. You have a $200 lead on Paul. You have $900. How much of that do you wish to wager? I'll try $500. $500 is. That would take you to $1,400, and you double up on Paul. All right, here we go. Daniel Day-Lewis married this playwright's daughter, Rebecca, after starring in the film version of The Crucible. Who is Miller? Correct. Arthur Miller. Nice going. All right, uh, Lauren. We'll finish up husband and wife for 500. Why not? This Fantasia conductor was a vigorous 63 when he married 21-year-old Gloria Vanderbilt in 1945. Lori. Who's Dukowski? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, well, let's try Sajak for 100. This man's Chicago-based Rainbow Push Action Network is a merger of two earlier political groups. 
Paul. Who is Jesse Jackson? Yeah, Jack is in there somewhere. Go ahead. <laughs> Say Jack for 200, please. On TV, he played Steve McGarrett, head of 5-0, a special Hawaiian police unit. Paul? Who is Jack Lord? Correct. Say Jack for 300, please. He played for the Kansas City Monarchs before he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. Lori. Who's Jackie Robinson? That is correct, and that takes you to $2,200. You have a good lead at this point. We have some commercial business to take care of. We'll come back and uh, meet our players. Gee, I love having my own category. We'll do that. There's a whole new spin on the wheel. Don't miss the new jackpot and Vanna's hot new wardrobe. Check out the wheel. Weeknights at 6.30 on New York 55. Hey, Flash, save it for the game. Trying to talk to everyone who calls you. That's hard. Choosing just the calls you want to take, that's easy. With caller ID with name from 9X. The display box shows you the name and number of your incoming calls. Beth, you want to talk to her? No, it's not a good time, honey. And stores the time and date so you can see who calls when you're out, even if they don't leave a message. Do we need the dinosaur? Yeah. Do we need the dinosaur? Yeah. Uh, good luck, dinosaur. Honey, it's Russell. Ah. I said we'd take uh, Danny to the game. But he's on the other team. He's on the other team. He's your best friend. Yeah. Russell, five minutes. Order during 9X Connection Days, and we'll connect you for free. We'll also tell you how you could save over $60 on the box. Just call 1-800-459X. Now you can take the calls you want when you Honey, want them. Did you call a chimney sweep? We don't have a chimney. Good call, George. Thank you. Call or ID with name from 9X. 1-800-459X. Renting can be more expensive than owning your own home. Whether you're purchasing your first home or improving your present one, South Bay Mortgage Banking can meet your needs. South Bay Mortgage Banking is a direct lender offering FHA, VA, conventional, and many other loan programs at competitive fixed and adjustable rates. We offer 24-hour free pre-qualification and in-home visits seven days a week. Call us today at 1-800-287-SBAY or just call for our free information package. That's 1-800-287-SBAY. Tonight, starting at 7 on WLNY-TV, New York 55. I'm talking to a legend. My anxiety dream, you are in it. It's now becoming mine. Walter Cronkite, next Oprah. And then, at 8, ever wish you could be your dad? You look just like me. Judge Reinhold and Fred Savage, vice versa. Tonight at 7, it's Oprah, the New York 55's primetime movie at 8, vice versa with Judge Reinhold on WLNY-TV, New York 55. Back with Jeopardy, we want to say a quick hello to our players and welcome them officially. Christian Stallsmith is here from Arlington, Virginia, a naval engineer. What do you do specifically, uh, Christian? I support the Navy's mine warfare shipbuilding program. Sounds like uh, interesting work. Nice to have you here, Christian. Thanks Thank very much. Uh, hi, Lori. Nice to see you. Our leader hey. at this point, uh, Lori Drummond, is from our uh, WREX Rocks, Rockford, Illinois uh, contestant search, an English teacher. That's right. So, what, what do you teach and where? Um, I English teach program? senior English yeah. at Hananiga High School. Now, that sounds, uh, Hananiga, is, is, is that, what kind of name is that? That is a Native American word. It's actually named for Princess Hananiga, the Pocahontas of Rockton, Roscoe area. <laughs> yes, she, okay. she saved uh, early settler Stephen Max life legend has it and uh, married him and now she gets a high school named after her home of the indians that's right and what did stephen get out of this stephen has a middle school named after oh, him <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, i'm glad he didn't get left out nice no. to have you here laurie and uh, paul is back uh, paul roeder was here yesterday and won fourteen thousand five hundred fifty dollars that's got to feel pretty good uh let's see what else can we find out about you 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 have you've had a brush with the law should we get yes into this i have now? um in fact two christmases ago i was putting up christmas lights for the first time in the dark our side of our house and I could not figure out how to do it. And I looked down and noticed the neighbor had done it really well. So I walked down to the neighbor's, stood outside the neighbor's house, looked closely. The next thing I heard was, hold it right there. Police came, you know, and uh, accosted me, accusing me of trying to burglarize the house. Wow. You, you were not taken, hauled in with your lights or anything? No, but I was taken home. And then my, uh, when I was taken to the front door, my wife tried to deny that she ever knew me. <laughs> increased the likelihood of me being I taken I can do that jail. without lights. It's uh, nice to have the three of you here. And uh, Lori, uh, it's your turn to select. Go ahead. Okay, try Sajak for 400. An excellent choice. This actress, who now plays Lisa Landry on Sister's Sister, won an Emmy for 227. Paul. Who is Jackie Harry? Yeah. Can I have Sajak for 500, please? Formerly a special advisor to LBJ, he's presided over the Motion Picture Association of America since 1966. 
Paul. Who is Jack Valenti? That is correct. And select again. Could I have by a vowel for 100, please? Sure. This A word means to relinquish power or give up the throne. Lori. What is abdicate? That's right. Well, let's try um, lose a turn for 100. All right. In 1991, after eight years as the American Kennel Club's top dog, the Cocker Spaniel lost the number one ranking to this dog called a lab. Christian? What is a Labrador Retriever? That's right. You're on the board. Keep it going. Lose a turn for 200, please. Chillicothe was this state's capital twice, losing out to Zanesville once and finally to Columbus. Laura? What, what is Ohio? Right. Go ahead. Lose a turn for 300. Only twice between 1949 and 1964 did this team fail to win the American League pennant. Christian. What are the New York Yankees? Right. Go ahead. Lose a turn for 400, please. After a three-year ride at the top in U.S. sales, this Honda model lost its number one position to the Taurus in 1992. Christian? What is the Ford company? No. Lori, Paul? Lori. What is the Honda Accord? That is correct. You'll choose. Lose a turn for 500. This orator was the Democrats' presidential nominee twice, lost a turn, and was nominated again in 1908. Christian? Who is William Jennings Bryan? That is correct. About a minute left. Before and after for 100, please. All right. Uh, pay attention here. Made of Orléans with a monument at the end of the Champs-Élysées. Christian? What is the Joan of Arc de Triomphe? Very good. Joan of Arc. Before and, and after for 200, please. Jerry Garcia's ancient biblical text from Qumran. Uh, Lori? What are the Grateful Dead um, Sea Scrolls? Yes, that's exactly what we needed. Go ahead. Okay, buy a vowel for 200. We're looking for an eye. It's an animal without any backbone. Lori? What is an invertebrate? Correct. This buy Go ahead. By a vowel for 300. This O is the medical branch that deals with the anatomy and treatment of the eye. Lori. What is optometry? Yes, or ophthalmology. Go ahead. By a vowel for 400. It's what the Greeks call the letter E. Paul. What is epsilon? Right. By a vowel for 500, please. You may not be aware that this Florentine palace was originally built for Cosimo I de Medici. Christian. What is the Abruzzi? What is the Uffici Palace? And that uh, means time is up in our Jeopardy round. Lori has $3,600. Our returning champion, Paul, at $2,300. Christian with 100 bucks, but waiting for uh, Double Jeopardy to do even better, I'm sure. We will be back and see how that goes in just a moment. Stay with us. Tonight, be sure to catch all the news, weather, and sports on News 55 Live at 10. Then, at 11, Voyage Beyond the Stars with Star Trek The Next Generation, right here on WLNY-TV, New York 55. Hi, honey. Hey, how was your checkup? Fine. Really? Yeah, the heart's good. And your cholesterol? Good. You know, the doctor said the healthy diet is paying off. See? You better keep eating those Cheerios. As part of a heart-healthy diet, the FDA says soluble fiber from whole grain oat foods like Cheerios may reduce the risk of heart disease. Cheerios is the only leading ready-to-eat cereal that meets this FDA standard. I always knew you had a good heart. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm married. I thought it was good. I'm Neil Patrick with savings on home aquariums and quality products from Tetra. Welcome to Tetra's world of tropical fish, featuring quality aquarium products like Whisper Triad Power Filters. Triad provides three-way filtration for the healthiest aquarium. Let Petland discounts bring you into Tetra's world of tropical fish. Good morning, Dylabrand. Buying a major appliance is as easy as making one phone call to Dyler Brand. Since 1967, we've offered the lowest prices on washers, dryers, ranges, TVs, VCRs, and more. Just call us with the make and model, and in about a minute, we'll be arranging your free next day delivery. Why shop by foot when you can shop by phone? Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and COD orders are always welcome. So shop smart. Call Dyler Brand today at 1-800-237-3220. John Travolta is facing his toughest assignment yet, covering Jamie Lee Curtis's every move. What's the matter? I can't move. Sounds to me like you fall in love with a California airhead. Good reporter would never get in bed with the subject. I'm not your subject. Don't miss two of Hollywood's sexiest stars in a steamy romance that's nothing less than perfect. Tonight at midnight on New York 55.
Welcome back. Time for our double Jeopardy round. Let's get to it and put those doubled dollar amounts up there. And we have two daily doubles hidden now in these categories. Hoaxes and frauds, April, fuels, Shakespearean fools, <laughs> fools errands, and foolish song. Somewhere in your response, a fool will uh, pop up if, if you're going to be correct, that is. And in third place right now, Christian, you'll start. Fuels for 200, please. Term for material like dry wood or newspaper used to start a fire. Christian. What is kindling? Correct. Fuels for 400, please. A carboniferous solid fuel for blast furnaces or a carbonated liquid fuel for people. Christian. What is coke? That's right. Fuels for 600, please. This partly decayed plant matter is a common fuel in areas without much coal. Lori. What is peat? Right. I'll take Shakespearean fools for 200. The humans in this play inspire Puck to say, Lord, what fools these mortals be. Paul. What is a Midsummer Night's Dream? Right. Shakespearean fools for 400, please. Though this historical play contains a clown, it's the heroine who makes an asp of herself. Uh, Lori. What is Anthony and Cleopatra? Yes. Shakespearean fools for 600. Trinculo is a jester in this stormy drama. Christian. What is the Tempest? Right. April for 200. On April 8th, 1974, this brave hit his 715th home run. Christian. Who is Hank Aaron? Sure. April for 400. It was lullaby and good night for this composer who died in Vienna, April 3rd, 1897. Paul? Who is Johannes Brahms? Correct. April for 600, please. Filipino chieftain Lapu Lapu and his forces killed this Portuguese explorer April 27th, 1521. Christian. Who is Magellan? Correct. April for 800, please. This invasion occurred from April 17th to 19th, 1961. Lori. What is the Bay of Pigs? In Cuba, correct. Shakespearean fools for 800. Dogberry and Virgis are two foolish officers in this comedy whose title may mean nada to you. Christian. What's well, much ado about nothing? That's right. Fool's errands for 200, please. Alchemists once searched for the Philosopher's Stone, said to transmute base metals into this substance. Lori. What is gold? That's right. Finish up Shakespearean Fools for 1,000. And a good choice. The Daily Double. You, uh, you have a big lead uh, on your opponents, almost uh, doubled up. Each of them with 2,900, you have $5,600. What do you want to wager? I'll try 1600 All right, a good aggressive wager. Let's see what happens. Speed is a clownish servant to Valentine in this comedy set in Romeo's town. <laughs> Need to hurry. What is comedy of errors? No, that is not right. What is two gentlemen of Verona? That's what we're looking for. Laura, you'll select again. Okay, try foolish songs for 200 This happens where angels fear to tread and where wise men never go. Christian. What is Fool's rush, rush In? That's right. Foolish songs for 400 plays. Sergio Mendez and Brazil 66 had a hit with this Beatles tune from the Magical Mystery Tour album. Christian. What is The Fool on the Hill? Right. Foolish songs for 600 plays. This question proceeds, who never fell in love, it seems that I'm the only one that I have been thinking of. Paul. What is What Kind of Fool Am I? Yes, thank you for not singing. Go ahead. <laughs> Foolish songs for 800, please. And that's our second daily double, an audio you would suspect in this category. You have 3,500, Laurie the leader with 4,000. Hmm, I will bet 750, please. That would give you the lead. In 1981, Diana Ross cracked the top 10 with a remake of this 1956 Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers hit. Listen. Why do birds sing so gay? What is Why Do Fools Fall in Love? That is correct, uh huh? $4,250, you have the lead, go ahead. What is, uh, I'll take Foolish Songs for a thousand, please. All right, you're jumping the gun here. <laughs> Michael McDonald co-wrote this 1979 Doobie Brothers hit with Kenny Loggins. Christian. What is, What a Fool Believes. That's right. Fool's errands for 400. Former astronaut James Irwin led five expeditions to this mount to recover Noah's Ark. Lori. What is Ararat? Mount Ararat, correct, go ahead. Okay, take hoaxes and frauds for 200. P.T. Barnum exhibited a monkey sewn to a fish as one of these female sea creatures from Fiji. Christian. What is a mermaid? That's right. Go ahead. Hoaxes and frauds for 400. A 1985 April Fool's issue of this magazine told of Sid Finch, the pitcher with a 168-mile-per-hour fastball. 
Lori. What is Sports Illustrated? Yes, it never happened. <laughs> Hoaxes and frauds for 600. In 1678, England panicked at false rumors of a takeover plot by this order founded by Loyola. Paul. Who are the Jesuits? Yes. Hoaxes and frauds for 800, please. David Hampton's exploits posing as this actor's son inspired the play and film Six Degrees of Separation. Christian. <laughs> Who is Sidney Poitier? That is right. April 4,000. On April 12th, 1961, Yuri Gagarin blasted off in a capsule called this, Russian for East. What is Vostok? It was Vostok 1. And at this point, in a very tight match, Christian with the lead with 15. Fuels for 800, please. We have about a minute left. Go ahead. Fuels for 800, please. Okay. Uh, also called lamp oil, this petroleum product was once the chief source of artificial lighting. Lori. What is kerosene? Right. Take fool's errands for 600. Although Plato pointed toward Gibraltar, many modern scientists placed this mythical island near Crete. Lori? What is Atlantis? Yes. Fool's errands for 800. John Franklin was lost at sea searching for this American waterway. Paul. What is the Northwest Passage? Correct. Fool's errands for 1,000, please. Following Jacob Waltz's hints, treasure hunters have searched this Southwest state for the lost Dutchman mine. Paul. What is Arizona? That's right. Hoaxes and frauds for 1,000, please. That sound means we are at the end of a very exciting match here, and a very tight match, and it all going to come down to the wagering in our uh, final Jeopardy round. Paul with $6,650, Lori just a few hundred dollars behind that, and Christian in third place, but a very healthy third with $5,500. Uh, our, of course, a big winner tonight they receives the cash. Other two players get some terrific prizes. And here's a terrific guy to tell you about, it, John. Today's second place contestant will receive round trip airfare 4 4 from Air Jamaica. Soaring to new heights with the most on time non stop service to Jamaica. Red carpet check in and complimentary beverages on every flight. Air Jamaica. And you'll enjoy accommodations provided by Friends International Resorts of Jamaica, providing all inclusive fun filled vacations for the entire family at Point Village in a Grill or Sea Castles in Montego Bay. For today's third place contestant, we'll fly you and a guest to Las Vegas, where you'll spend six nights in a royal room at Excalibur, the medieval-themed hotel and casino located on the hottest corner of the famous Las Vegas Strip. Excalibur Hotel and Casino. It'll take your breath away. And for all contestants, take the Jeopardy Challenge with the official Jeopardy scorekeeper. Simple to use, keep score, and play along with Jeopardy every day. Call 1-800-JEOPARDY and take the Jeopardy Challenge today. And uh, once again, here's Pat. Thanks, Johnny. It is uh, getting to be final Jeopardy time. And keep in mind, this is April 1st, and I would venture to say this is one of the more unusual final Jeopardy categories you will see. It is Trinidadian amateur ichthyologists. <laughs> Don't let it throw you, folks. Uh, we'll be back. The chocolate vanilla swirls jello pudding snack is based on my idea. I've been mixing jello pudding flavors since I was a kid. Chocolate with vanilla, mine with my brother's. Of course, my version didn't travel real well. But this little cup is inspired. Half luscious chocolate, half smooth, cool vanilla. And the swirl pattern is a heck of a lot nicer looking than anything I used to make. Chocolate vanilla swirls jello pudding snacks, as smooth as ever. Introducing the best thing to happen to breakfast in a generation. New Kellogg's Honey Crunch Cord Flakes. Sweet life is falling, falling for something old. It's a kick, it's a crunch taste of honey and a heart of gold. Sweet honey and nuts baked to an incredible crunch. And under it all, the simple goodness of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the heart of gold. Something new that never grows old. New Kellogg's Honey Crunch Corn Flakes. Taste of honey and a heart of gold. <laughs> These shorts must have shrunk in the attic. Oh, <laughs> maybe if I lie down, I can zip these up. Try these on for size. Quaker Caramel Corn Cakes. 50 calories. Zero excuses. Oh, you know why? Feeling frisky all day. Friskies gives your cat 42 vital nutrients and the famous Friskies Tasty loves. Friskies brings out the frisky in your cat. If you're coming to Los Angeles and would like to be a contestant on Jeopardy, please send us a postcard to Jeopardy Contestants, Sony Picture Studios, 10202 West Washington Boulevard, Culver City, California, 90232. It's Wheel of Fortune coming up next on WLNY-TV, New York 55.
A mysterious phone call. A midnight rendezvous. An anonymous letter. I know the truth about your secret life. If I were you, I would end things immediately and go back to your family. Signed, a friend? Follow the tangled lives of two fictional families on the North Shore in Diana Drive. Look for Diana Drive only in Newsday. This Sunday and every Sunday. Guy says four tires for $79. I say, what kind are they? He says, that's a very good question. Only Wholesale Tire has out the door pricing, the guaranteed lowest prices on the best brands, or we'll refund 150% of the difference. Plus, free valve stems, free mounting, free balancing, even tire disposal. There's no extras ever. The tire guy says, tire disposal's extra. What do you want us to do with your old tires? Extra? So I told him where to put them. Wholesale Tire. Hey, I was reading it. Reading what? The greens. Okay, what are they? Crunchy new corn balls. No colors, no flavors, no junky stuff. You didn't read that. Yes, I did. Now kids can get a free Dr. Seuss classic to read with two proofs of purchase plus shipping. Okay, then what does this say? No preservatives. Kicks. Kid tested, <laughs> mother approved. Listen to what your friends and neighbors are saying about Price Auto Outlet. I leased this 1994 Plymouth Acclaim for only $124 a month at Price Auto Outlet. I leased my 93 Honda Civic for only $75 a month at, at Price, Price Auto, Auto Outlet. Outlet. I leased my 94 Honda Accord at Price Auto Outlet for only $127 a month. They've got the best prices on Long Island. Price Auto Outlet. Great prices, great service, great selection. In New York, call us at 516-827-3300. And in New Jersey at 908-474-1600. Crusher is haunted by a terrifying stranger and struggles to escape his deadly clutches on Star Trek The Next Generation. Tonight at 11 on New York 55. When you can't do it all, do what you can. A message from the Credit Union Foundation and your hometown credit union. Tonight at 7, it's Oprah, the New York 55's primetime movie at 8, Vice Versa with Judge Reinhold. Next, it's Wheel of Fortune on WLNY-TV, New York 55. Do not adjust your set. It's April Fool's Day, and we have an exciting final Jeopardy coming up. A tight match all riding on this category, Trinidadian amateur ichthyologists. Here's your final Jeopardy question. This common aquarium fish was named for a Trinidadian clergyman. You have 30 seconds to write your response. Good luck. up. Everybody appears to be ready. Everybody thinking about their last trip to the pet store. Uh, Christian, $5,500. What is your response? What is an angel fish? No, I'm sorry, that's not right. What did you wager? $4,500. That leaves you with $1,000. Let's move on to Lori with $6,200 in second place currently. Your response? What is an angel fish? No, we know that's not right. And $6,199. All but a buck. Well, that uh, puts Paul in good shape, perhaps, depends on his wager. 6650. What are ministers? Uh, is that a fish? I'm not aware. I don't know, well, to be honest. Maybe now. <laughs> Let's see what you wagered. $6,000, and that leaves you with 650, and that means that Christian is our winner. Congratulations. With $1,000, a win's a win. By the way, the answer, the correct answer is Guppy. Guppy, you all remember uh, R.J. Lashmere Guppy. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Christian's coming back tomorrow and hope you will come back too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Today's second and third place contestants will receive natrol melatonin. Lose the hour but not the sleep. With daylight saving time coming on Sunday, April 6th, remember to reset your clock with natrol melatonin for a restful night's sleep. Now, miracle Grow plant food comes in easy-to-use houseplant spikes. Just use this free aerator, then slip in the spike. miracle Grow spikes for more beautiful houseplants.
What do I have to do to get you off that machine, Marion? Squirrel. Are Swiss, American, cheddar, better? El Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to our special... Thank you. Welcome to our special Tuesday, April 1st edition of Wheel of Fortune. I'll leave you to figure out uh, why I'm here today. We have a lot of wonderful surprises for you in this half hour, including this one. Please join me now in welcoming my co-host today, the lovely Leslie. You know her better as Mrs. Pat Sajak. <laughs> I'm okay. Now, Pat and I, Pat and I had the good sense to marry young, beautiful, intelligent brunettes who have brought a measure of stability to our lives. Now, I know Pat likes to have a lot of fun, but what about you? Do you ever play April Fool jokes on people? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I did today. I called Vanna at home, yeah. and I told her not to come into work today because the taping's been canceled. That, just, I'm just kidding. That explains it. Are you nervous about this? No. Really? No? You? Well, you've done this show before, right? I've done the prizes and some of the openings and little things like that, but I've never done Vanna's real job. Okay. Now, I have done this show before as well. I was the guest host for an entire week once, and I must have done such a good job that the producers couldn't wait to ask me back. And so here I am today, 16 years later. <laughs> Let's go to work. Okay. You go over there. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Wheel of Fortune, so let's meet the contestants. Johnny! Now we bring the studio are today's contestants. She's America's most popular letter turner turned letter activator. She's the mother of one with one on the way. From North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, playing for the American Cancer Society. popular game show. He's a former DJ and TV weatherman from Chicago, Illinois, playing for the Boy Scouts of America, Pat Sajak. Welcome, players. I've got to start off by saying, first of all, that I, I admire your courage, because I'm often asked, when are you going to be a contestant on your show? And I say, never, even in a super seniors tournament. Vanna, how do you feel about this? You've only turned this wheel, spun this wheel, once in, in 14, 14 years? years? Yes. So I'm nervous. You shouldn't be. No? No, Why? not at all. Because they tell me, the staff tells me that both of you have become so good at figuring out these puzzles over the years. Now, what's your charity? American Cancer Society. All right, good for you. Pat. Yeah, well, I started out as... <laughs> what is it? What do you want from me? I want you to feel do relaxed. Do tense? Not as tense as I seem, <laughs> I'm sure. Now, yes. you started out as a weatherman, and yes, there's something I've always wanted to ask you because of that, and that is, why is it that weathermen, of all the people who bring us the news on television and on radio, weathermen are the only ones who are blamed or complimented for the weather? Yeah, it was, it's, it was, I was glad to be rid of the weather, because every day when you said, you know, you ruined my wedding, you said it wasn't going to rain on June 5th, and it rained, and they're yelling at me all the time. They blame you for that. Yeah, now they just blame me when they had a bankrupt, so uh, life... <laughs> Who are you playing for? Uh, playing for the Boy Scouts of America, happily, and it's a great organization. Were and, you ever a Boy Scout? Uh, you know, I was not, and I feel that was a void in my life, so I'm going to help others fill that void. All right, well, I'm delighted to be here, and I hope you two are, and your charities will be, I'm sure. You ready to go? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at our first puzzle. And we're looking for a phrase. Now, a little while ago, we tossed the coin, and Vanna, I guess, won the toss, so she will spin Vanna, first. Vanna. A light spin, $400. An M, please. Is there an M? No, there is no M. Pat. Oh, man. I thought sure there was one. Gee, that's a heavy wheel. Pat has mastered the big spin, $600. Uh, is there an S? S, one S. Spin again. Spin again. 300. Is there a D? One D. All right. I'm so excited to say this next phrase. I'd like to buy a vowel. Which, 
Which vowel would you like to buy? I'd like to buy an I. An I. All right, there are two I's up there. You're at $650. Who's the do? babe on the puzzle board? I'll introduce, I'll introduce you to her after the show. All right, well, you then, might get along. In the meantime, I'll spin. All right. $550. Uh, is there a uh, T? A T. There are three T's. Mm. And that takes you up to $2,300. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll buy another vowel. I'd like an E. An E. There are four E's. Yeah. And uh, it's a phrase. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll buy another vowel. I'll buy an A. An A. There is one A on the board. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll spin the wheel. Should I spin, you think, Bella? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Please, you're not allowed to work together. Mm -hmm. Oh, 250. Oh, boy. I think I'll have an H. H. One H. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'll buy another vowel, I'll buy an O. There are two O's on the board. <laughs> and uh, I'll You buy have $1,800. I'll buy a U. A U? Yes. There is one U. <laughs> 400. Uh, is there an L? An L. There are three L's. You're at 2750 yes, and you're going to spin again. 300. Uh, is there a, a P, just to pick a number offhand? Uh, pick a number offhand. That's a pretty good yeah. number. There are two of them. All right. Let me spin uh, one more time, Alex. Remember, folks, that that's playing for charity. Oh, $1,000. Uh, Don't mess up. Yeah. Is there a Z? In or a Z, as we a used to Z, say yes, back home. There are two of them. All right. Uh, Alex, I'd like to solve the puzzle. For $5,350. Yes. Uh, Pat, I'd like to solve the puzzle. No, no, you're supposed to say, Alex, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to solve yeah, the puzzle. Right. Yes, that's absolutely right. There you go. Now, you see, they told me they'd never be able to use that particular puzzle while you were hosting the That's show. That's right. So we because got it would have been too confusing. We can take, put that in the trash bin now. All right. You've got $5,350 for the Boy Scouts of America, and we're ready for round number two. We are going to add a $10,000 space to the wheel, and let's take a look at the next puzzle. We're looking for the 80s. Ooh. All right, Pat. You get to spin first in this one. 80s. The 80s. 80s. You remember the 80s? Oh, look at this. Five fifty. Um, I'll boldly call a T. A T. One T. Nine hundred. Uh, how about an R? R. There is an R also. Uh, how about an O? An O. There is no oh, O. Oh, nice. Vanna, you get to spin. Seven hundred. Good spin. How about an S? S. Yes, there is an S. Yay. How much do I have? I'd like to buy a vowel. All right. An E. An E. Oh, five E's up five there. E's. One, two, three, four, and five. Anna. An A. An A. All right. There is. There are three A's, and they're all on the top line. I'd like to see you try to buy another one now. I'm going to spin. Right. I don't have enough to buy That's another one. That's why I like to see you. All right. 250. An N. An N. Two N's. I'm going to spin it again. Whoa! 600. A V? A V? There is a V. Gonna spin again. Don't want to solve it. All right. Oh, no! 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 I 
feel real bad about this. No, I do. I, I, do. I do also. I do, but that's not going to stop me from spinning the wheel. All right. $100, and he comes up with 450 yeah. How about an M? M, yes. There is an M. Six hundred. Uh, a K, just for a K? laughs. Yes, indeed. There is a K. <laughs> two fifty. Uh, an H. H. Two H's. <laughs> and you're up to twenty-seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Okay. Big bucks. The twenty-five hundred. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. oh boy, pick it up. You gotta call a letter first. Too eager, too eager. You can never be too eager. Uh, a W? A W. There uh, it is. Pick up the ten thousand uh, dollars. And now, what boy. are you going to do? You have twenty-seven hundred in your own pocket. You know, I think I'd better solve it. Okay? Should we do it together? Since yes. <laughs> Vanna, Vanna makes, makes her, her wheel debut. debut. Right. Yeah. Do you remember when Vanna made her wheel debut? I, I do. In the, in, was, was, how many years ago was this now? Or 14, 15 well, it was about years a year ago. After, about a year after I started, yeah. and uh, she came along. It was lovely from day one. Well, let's take a look and show the folks at home how lovely it was. Here's Vanna 15 years ago. <laughs> Do we know how to pick oh. up posters, I ask you, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you. you I am very excited and happy to be part of Wheel of Fortune. That's right. <laughs> are you noticing the changes? Vanna has less hair. Pat has oh, more what? hair. <laughs> how do you figure that? You look well, like a bad prom couple there. No, it looked great. <laughs> Boy, you, you got to be really happy. $18,100 for the Boy Scouts of America so far. We'll take a break and come back with another puzzle right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There's a $3,500 space on the wheel right now. This is our jackpot round, which means we start the progressive jackpot at $5,000, and you folks can watch it grow by the amount of each spin. And Pat and Vanna, you know what happens. You land on that wedge, you solve the puzzle, and the entire amount is yours to keep. Let's take a look at our puzzle. We are looking for a really long title, <laughs> and there are two... Hyphens. And Vanna, you get to go first this time. Let's win some money for the American Cancer Society. $400. T. A T. Okay. There is a T up there. Okay, give it a oh, I thought you were going to solve the puzzle. Ooh. 700 An N, please. An N. No N. N. Oh, darn. Oh, it doesn't seem bad. The old master spinner gets close to the 3500 but it's only oh, 250 spinning. I don't have time to worry about stuff like that. I'm just spinning the wheel, doing okay. my best. Uh, is there an L? Is there an L? Yes, there are three of them. Uh, I guess I should buy a bowel or two. Uh, how about an E? An E. There are two E's. And an A? An A, yes, there is an A. There are three of them, as a matter of fact. And what do I have? 250, I'll buy, I'll buy an I. An I. You've only got 250, but you've got seven I's wow. coming up. Hmm. This is loaded with I's. It is. Uh, but it you is. have no money. Well, that's a, well, we should remedy that. You, we, right? you should indeed. <laughs> 50. Hmm. Is there an S? Yes. All right. There's one there, one at the beginning, and one in the middle. All right. I will, uh, I will buy an O now, please. An O? Yes, there are two of them. Okay. And I will buy a U. A U? Yeah. There are two U's. Fifty. I'll uh, take a P. An unfortunate choice of words, but uh, there is you know, a P I just or two. Say, I've 
For 16 years, I've avoided that line. Well, <laughs> one day he's here. <laughs> you set me up. I did. Ow. I hurt myself. Uh oh, no, no. 500. 500. Uh, R, please. An R. There are two R's. Uh, is it uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? For $2,650, it is indeed. Well done. Boy Scouts are up to $20,750. From what musical does this title come from? Uh, is it Mary Poppins? Is, that is it Mary one? Poppins? It is indeed again. And that takes us to a total of $22,750. All right, let's go to a commercial. We'll come back and play our next round right after this. This weekend, GSN says goodbye to game show legend Merv Griffin. Coming up next, see 10 rare episodes of Wheel of Fortune. Then Sunday at 10, it's five hours of Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. The best of Merv Marathon, up next only on GSN. Running out of time, so I'm going to give the wheel the final spin of the day. Hope to land on the 5,000, and I'm not going to make it. $400. All right, you'll each give me a letter. If it's in the puzzle, uh, you get $400 added to uh, your total. And this puzzle is a phrase. Pat, you go first. Uh, okay. Uh, a T, please. A T. Is there a T? Yes, there are three of them. You have five seconds. Vanna? An S. Is there an S? There are five S's up there. Yes, we're building the total very nicely. That's $2,000 for you if you can solve the puzzle. It's not as easy as it seems. Yay! Oh, no, that is not correct. Pat, pick a letter. Um, hmm. Well, uh, M. M, no M. Vanna. Oh. Um, a Y. Is there a Y? There is one Y. Yes. Oh, I know what it is. It's not as easy as it looks. It's not as easy as it looks is absolutely yes. right. And that's true. $2,400 for the American Cancer Society. All right. $2,400 for the American Cancer Society. $22,750 so far for the Boy Scouts of America. And a bonus round coming up right after this. If you're wondering why both Vanna and Pat are standing here for the bonus round, I'll tell you. It's their show. They can do whatever they want to do. You know, we suggested, we thought we'd put both our heads together, so we're going to pool all the money we've won to split evenly between our charities. This way we can both play the bonus round and split that money, too. Won't that That's be That's terrific. Split? That's great. All right, so what you're looking for in this puzzle is an event. All right, we're going to give you the R, S, T, L, N, and E's that appear in this puzzle. We're playing here to split $25,000, by the way. $25,000 in addition to the 25000 you've already won between the two of you. All right, we oh, well, uh, now need a little... A late ad. Uh -huh. It's not easy, Leslie. I'll tell you, they do that stuff to men all the time. All right, we need three more consonants and one vowel. Who, who's okay. going to go first? You have any thoughts on this? A G. Okay, I like there that. There is a G. Well, you don't have to tell us that right now. Oh, okay. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's all right. Uh, you, like a, you like an M? Or an, sure. an M? Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No one wants to take responsibility. Uh, a C. I know that. And now a vowel. And now a vowel. That's helpful. A she D. knows the an, entire an, alphabet, and an it appears you don't. An A. An A. All right, let's put them up there. The C, the G, and the A in two positions. For $25,000, you've got 10 seconds. Oh, trading places. Trading places is right. Congratulations, you just won $25,000. Because you guys are so generous, each of your charities is going to receive $25,075. So congratulations to the Boy Scouts and the American Cancer Society. We're back after this. Leslie, you stand over here. Uh, Pat and Ben, I want to thank you for the use of the hall. It was delightful, and I know you're going to have me back 16 years from now. <laughs> Anytime, Alex. You were terrific, and it was great yeah. fun playing. And Leslie, you were great, too. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Regular folks, tomorrow. Come on, everybody.
Comprehensive Benefits, Caltrade Plus Chewables. All the benefits of Caltrade Plus, more calcium and six added nutrients in two great tasting chewable flavors. It's never too late for Caltrade. When Robin Lee says garlic, he's talking about the most potent garlic tablet there is. Garlic brand garlic, one per day and odor free. Garlic and... <laughs> Denture cream, Monty Hall. I'll trade you the toothpaste, mouthwash, and denture soap. No deal. All you need is denture cream. Tonight at 10, Bobby is faced with a dilemma that could change the outcome of his case. Meanwhile, Eugene goes to trial against the mugger with a track record. And Eleanor has second thoughts about going on a blind date. Don't miss the practice. Only here on WMAR.